Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn about elephant foot in an engine. So, if you closely look here, you can see this is called as the elephant foot. This looks like the foot of an elephant. You can have a closer look over here. See the bottom portion. This looks like the foot of an elephant. See from the side wise. Right? And this is the bottom view of it. So, that's why it's called as an elephant foot and let's learn where it comes and what's the purpose of it this is the rocker over here on the engine which is actually pushing the valves on the rocker at this point we'll have the push rod so the push rods will be coming here will be hitting the rocker like this which will be resulting in the rocker to move so the push rods will be activated by the cam so this is where the push rods will be hitting and here we'll have the uh, rod which will be connecting all the rockers together so there will be number of rockers like this so each of them will be connected through a shaft in the center okay and what is the function of the elephant foot so over here we'll have a bridge piece like this so this is the bridge piece uh, as you can see over here the function of the bridge piece is to connect two valves so uh, if there are uh, two valves in the inlet and two valves in exhaust the function of the bridge piece is to connect both the inlet valves and so this is how it comes over here okay so uh, the elephant foot the function of the elephant foot is to be placed in between the bridge piece like this so when the rocker hits like this when the push rod is being pushed up and down the effort will be coming on the bridge piece so here we'll have one valve at this point we will be having one valve seated and the other side will have the second valve getting seated over here so the bridge piece will push both the valves together so the function of the elephant foot you can see over here so let's have a closer look at the elephant foot you can see this looks like the foot of an elephant see it from the side okay see it from the bottom of it so this looks like the foot of an elephant that's why it's called as an elephant foot you can see this is the bottom view of the elephant foot of the rocker it gets placed correctly over here so you can see the marking on the bridge space this is the point where the elephant foot is getting seated so it exactly comes over here like this and it push the bridge space downwards so that's how the rocker actually functions so here we'll have uh, the push rod which will activated by the cam when the push rod gets activated the rocker moves and the rocker hits the bridge piece resulting in the bridge piece to move downwards activating the valves so we'll have both the valves seated in both the sides on the bridge piece resulting in it to move at the same time so this is how the rocker moves and how uh, the elephant foot functions so i believe you understand what is an elephant foot or idea of an elephant foot and how it functions in an engine